what up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another werewolf pvp build video today i'll still be focusing on malakas band of brutality though my current build has gone through some pretty large changes and i'm now utilizing a lot of the more modern sets uh, that have been released in the recent dlc of course this build's main focus is still very heavily weapons damage orientated and so we'll be looking to try and squeeze in as much weapons damage as we can while also focusing more on our sustain this time, especially in the Magicka health department. Now let's have a look at the character sheet, completely unbuffed and outside of werewolf form. So without buffs, uh, weapons damage wise, uh, we're looking at uh, 327, nothing too special there uh, before we buff up. And with buffs, uh, it raises it to around 4,000. Um, so this is a relatively decent amount if you consider the amount that the Band of Brutality adds to it. It's uh, into the 5,000s, but then let's take a look now at the uh, werewolf form. So now what we're looking at is a base of nearly 5,000, 4,700. But actually with the Band of Brutality it, during combat adding an additional 1,190, uh, that takes our uh, amount of uh, weapons damage to around uh, 6,000 flat. And that's a really good amount to have. That's uh, Major Brutality helping us there uh, all the way. So let's have a look at these sets that I'm running. I'm running Witch Knight's Greatsword, uh, and indeed Witch Knight's set in general, a uh, five piece. And uh, I've really found this to be very useful uh, alongside the Band of Brutality. You've got all of that weapons damage there, and also the additional uh, weapons damage when you land a poison uh, on somebody. Um, I tend to use poisons exclusively, so whenever I land that dot, the amount of weapons damage that uh, kicks in, you can you can really notice the difference. So I'm still rocking the mastered perfected uh, bow on the back bar, and also the one piece baylogs for the additional weapons damage. And the real backbone of this build is the uh, the five piece eternal vigor. Uh, I'm also using a one piece of that uh, Witch Knights on the shoulders just to make up that five piece so I've dropped the Molokina uh, but honestly regarding that set uh, I was only filling in that spot for the weapons damage anyway so with the five piece you obviously get the five piece set bonus uh, you got the Band of Brutality on there as well so yeah the set's really been working out for me just recently you know it's uh, that Eternal Vigor is um, really probably the best in slot for sustain for werewolves at the moment and the witch knight set really providing that weapons damage yeah it's a really um it's a really good combination uh, i've enjoyed running it recently so regarding the skills here nothing's changed massively uh, i have dropped claws of anguish for claws of life i really prefer that in uh, large group battles to try and keep myself on my feet of course that means that you're losing that major defile but I'm actually using uh, Maiming Poison, which we'll get to in a second, but it has a very similar effect. Now let's have a quick look at the champion points. Nothing's changed here from last time. I'm still funneling the champion points that I would have had into sort of like uh, crit chance uh, into weapons damage instead, just to buff that, because obviously you're not getting any benefit from crit when you're wearing the Band of Brutality. Now let's have a look at some of the consumables. I'm using the Tri uh, Restoration Potion alongside Tri Max Stat Foods. So this was the poison that I was mentioning earlier. So it's uh, reducing their weapons damage, draining their health, restoring yours, draining their resistance and restoring yours. So it's really quite uh, effective in PvP. All that's left to do now is to check out this build in action. Thanks for watching.
Hey, thanks for joining me once again. I want to thank uh, this time Dirty Mosher and Gangstorf, uh specifically for providing me with parts of the uh, Witch Knight set. You guys rock. Thank you very much. Stay safe, people, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.